So to my surprise, y'all, we had uh, a little bit of a moment of honesty on Fox News over Kamala Harris's VP pick, Tim Waltz. Uh, I did not expect this. I mean, I know they have nothing on him. I know it's uh, desperate smears in order to go after him. But I didn't expect any of the hosts to be like, mm, you know what? It might be hard to beat. Okay, so here we go. Brett Baer is talking to some other Fox hosts here, and we get this. I mean, this guy hunts. He ice fishes. You know, he's he's one of those guys. He talks about rural America and how Donald Trump doesn't understand it. On the flip side, Donald Trump and the former president and J.D. Vance are talking directly to those folks and trying to get those folks, just like they built that coalition uh, he did, Trump did, in 2016. You know, listen, we, we just have to think about the party, the Democratic Party, the delegates themselves are really controlled by progressives. And, you know, if you think back to the true. power of Bernie Sanders after 2016, when Hillary Clinton goes on to get that nomination, you know, the power inside was very progressive. That's not true. The power outside is progressive. Bernie had a movement, but it was outside the insiders are not all that progressive. But Tim Waltz, shockingly, is more of a representative of the outsiders. But the part about, look, he hunts, he fishes, he's from rural America, he's like a folksy Midwestern dad, like, that part's undeniable. And guys, maybe it shouldn't matter, right? Like, it shouldn't matter what your skin color is, what your gender is, what all this stuff. But the fact of the matter is, the vibes are vibes. And if you're, if you're signaling moderate white guy, moderate white guy, which is what Waltz is, it's going to work, right? And he knows that. He seems to know that. Uh, progressives in the party weighed in, and this is who Vice President Harris yeah. chose. Uh, hang on one second here, Brett. A lot of reaction coming in. I'm just going to read this for our viewers. Here's Ron Sanders out of Florida. Harris Waltz, most left-wing ticket in American <laughs> history. Minnesota was ground zero for the BLM riots in 2020. Harris egged it on, and Waltz sat by and let Minneapolis burn. So... Yeah, this is, this is their line of attack. He wanted the Walgreens to get burned down. And the reality of the situation is, you could argue, hey, he didn't send the cops in fast enough, right? That's the most honest argument you can make if you're on the right. But these are the same people who defend January 6th and who defend Trump sitting on his ass for hours as his riders broke into the Capitol and tried to stop the certification of Joe Biden. So they don't have a fucking leg to stand on. That's his initial reaction. Kellyanne Conway, who works with us here, she crunches numbers all over the country. She says, Tim Waltz, question mark. What a relief. That on X right now. Jillian? There, Waltz did come to some sort of social media internet notoriety over the last week or so, Brett. He's given the credit for coining the term weird to describe the Republican ticket. That's obviously taken off among the Harris crowd. You think this may be a case of the campaign choosing the shiniest object in the room? I mean, they like how he talks. They like how he um, addresses media interviews. He's been on our shows. Uh, he's not afraid to get, like J.D. Vance, he's not afraid to go to different places. He's not afraid to mix it up. Uh, he does speak in plain speak. He's a former football coach, you know, former teacher. Um, he has that that appeal. I mean, he says it all, right? He's saying it all. He's like, yeah, look, he'll mix it up. He'll come argue with us. He's a football coach. He's a teacher. He's in the National Guard. Like, he's got that vibe, dog. I don't know what you want me to tell you. And it seems like Brett Baer is, like, gently trying to let down the other hosts. Like, all these weird attacks coming from Republicans, mm, they're sort of weak tea, bro. They're, they're not, <laughs> they're not going to work all that well against this guy. And it hasn't, which is why now they've resorted to just outright smears. They're attacking him for being right about the Iraq war early on and saying, I'm not going to go there. This war is bullshit. So good luck with that. But look, this is the most honest you'll ever get from Fox News. I have one more for you. Um, Fox News published a pro Waltz op-ed. I served with Tim Waltz as a Republican in the House. He'll be a good vice president. More than ever, America needs a normal guy like Tim Waltz to help lead our nation and bring us together. I think deep down, they all know this was a great pick. And that's why they're losing their minds. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.